What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I've got an, another review for you guys. Uh, these are F model OS's from the Ace line uh, that Prodigy Disc is putting out. Their uh, numbers are 10, 5, 2, and 4. Um, I don't think their numbers actually represent their flight because like I said in the other video, I've done a review on these already and the audio is messed up. So yeah, uh, we'll see how they fly in the video. But before I go any further, make sure you're subscribed. There's a little subscribe button down near the, the description box. Click that. Also click the bell and turn on all post notifications so you know whenever I'm posting these videos. But thank you to all the new viewers out there. So out here on hold three, the long pad, let's see what we got. There's a headwind, feels like. So I ain't gonna throw these too hard right now. Let's get into it. All right, so uh, got the pink and the orange. I'm gonna go pink first. I think it's actually flatter. I'm gonna put these on hyzer and see what they do in this headwind. Um, I'm not going full power yet. So let's start with pinky and go to orange. Had a nice flight, but I would do that. I wouldn't put that in front of it. Let's go orange. I think that thing went in the stupid water. It hit a little twig and flipped up in the air. Let's go see if I gotta go fishing. I am really, 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 really not happy about having to fish this out of the water. Pro tip, you don't have a long stick, throw rocks out there and make yourself some steps. All right, so now we're at the second shots. Um, this thing had a lot of glide to it. it. It had some distance on the, I think it was the pink one hit the tree. It was at least gonna be probably 340, 350 for sure. But I'm gonna try to throw out this big gap. It's not big, it's just, it's big when you get to it. It's probably 180 feet away from me. Throw this on hyzer and see what happens. Just gripped it a little bit. I'm gonna try to hit left of that and that'll be good. That one actually held up. Uh, I think the wind died down on that throw, but I hit the gap and it glided quite far. So let's go throw the other direction now. All right, I'm here at hole six's tee pad. I've got a right to left cross. Thought it was gonna be a tailwind, so I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna throw these F model OS's starting with the pink one. Let's go. Well, I had a, quite a bit of turn on it, so it was moving right. I hate doing reviews at this course. I can't ever get a clean flight. There's always one random tree. 
gonna throw some more. All right, I'm gonna throw out this big gap again, low power hyzer with uh, the pink and orange F model OS. See how they handle, I'm not going in, I'm trying to be smooth on these and not uh, try to throw too hard. We'll start pink first. All right, it's kind of odd, but uh, I'm almost starting to feel like the OS mold is acting more understable than the US. I don't know, I had to throw it some more, but just on those two shots when I threw the F model US from the same place, they went straight or hazard and those turned. So I don't know, it's kind of weird. We're gonna, I don't know. Maybe they sh should flip the stamps on those. All right, we've got these F model OS's on alternate six. So let's see what we can do here. It's a little bit wider fairway. These F model OS's, just a couple more flicks, hopefully they'll be in the air. That one did all right. Once again, all right. God, oh, these people are really worried about what flew out the back of that truck. Uh, so, got the F model OS here. Final thoughts. Um, definitely do this. Just cover up, cover up that old spot if you get one of these because it is not overstable. Um, I will tell you, out of the US and this one, this one's numbers are the least accurate, uh, at least past the speed number because it could i mean it probably is like a speed 10 but they both like this has extremely similar rim as uh the us so i don't know but this one flew more understable more consistently uh for me than the us did so um definitely if you're looking at these f model os's at least the ones that are out right now um but don't be expecting an fx2 an h1 a firebird i don't even know thunderbird something it's not going to be that i'm uh it's got a good glide and it's got a cool good flight to it but do not buy it if you think that's what you're wanting because this is not going to be that um but that being said if you just said f model and didn't put uh like flight numbers on it and just told somebody to throw it and see what they thought without expectations they'd probably be like oh well, that's a nice disc to throw it's not going in my bag um just like the us uh the, the rim's just not that comfortable for me and especially for the flight this would be almost the same like flight for me it would be like f5 f2 or f3 like range but sometimes even more understable than that so i don't know like it's a really weird disc um like flight wise it's not weird it's just like the flight for me i can't place it with another disc right now like i honestly would be throwing an f5 for some of the shots that i got with this right now and the f5 i can just control a little bit better and that's probably because i've been throwing the f5 a lot so um if you want to pick a di like a disc up that just has a really pretty nice flight and this glide was pretty good on these they were getting good distance uh 
try it out just do not pick it up thinking you're going to get a super beefy fairway you're going to get like a stable to kind of understable flight kind of out of one of these so yeah i mean that's my final thoughts on this not bagging it uh but somebody else might if you like the flight of it so that's all i got till next time peace